Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be replacing the lawnmower blade on a Toro 22 inch Smart Steel Recycler mower, all right? Uh, the blade we're gonna be using, real quick, I'll show you this. This is from Toro. All right, this is a 22 inch atomic blade. Uh, it says here, fits Toro Recycler mowers, uh, 2002 and newer models only, all right? Just bought this last year, so this fits the requirements. The reason we're replacing this is that Mrs. DIY tutorial guy, I was mowing the lawn the other day and completely mangled the blade. And instead of trying to find somewhere to get it sharpened, I probably would have spent around the same, same amount of money. Uh, $22, I picked this up at a local hardware store, all right? I did go to a big box store, Home Depot in Pottsgrove, and wow, it was like dealing with people who had their heads so far up their butts they didn't know what they were doing. So I left and I supported a small local business. Anyway, let's get this thing put on. Being that you have the recycler uh, smart stow, we don't need to drain any fuel. We don't need to store it on a certain side or anything like that, all right? What we need to do is just flip it up and then we're going to disconnect the spark plug just so we make sure there is no freak accident that fires this thing up while I'm under here, all right? All right, it's off and we'll flip it up. We'll put the bag on there. All right, we got the bag on there. Now we're all set to loosen this. Now one issue we're gonna run into is that the way we have to turn this, uh, crank it lefty loosey, is also the direction this blade's gonna wanna turn. So we need to lock this blade out, okay? We're gonna use a, we're gonna lock this blade out and then we'll be able to get started. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to use a socket set. Uh, it just gives you a little more leverage. And the size head you're gonna be using here, the size socket is 5 eighths of an inch. 5 eighths of an inch, all right? Now, I don't have any channel locks, I can't find mine. So what we're gonna do is add a wood block right here. This is gonna wedge the blade from moving any further, okay? This is gonna allow me to apply the pressure to get this ripped, to get this taken off, all right? I'm gonna put this here. All right, lefty loosey, this will be kind of tight. So give it a good turn. All right, there we go. So as you can see, just take it off by hand, unscrew it. Remember how it comes off, because it's going on the same exact way, just backwards. All right, so the order that this is gonna go, you're gonna have your bolt, it's gonna come off, okay? Well, it's gonna come off from these two pieces here, the blade and the piece over it. So check it out. Bolt, there's a washer, all right? Don't lose the washer. There's a washer on here, it shouldn't fall off. Then you're gonna have this plate that goes over your blade, and then your blade. What you wanna do is verify, when you before you take this all the way off, Verify you're putting this back on the correct direction, okay? You wanna verify the blades are pointing the same way, all right? I'm just gonna open this new one. All right, so now, this is how I'm gonna do it. This is how this old one came off, right? Like this. Verifying my blades are going the same way. So we're gonna put this here, I'm gonna take my piece over top. I'm going to line up the holes. You got three holes there. Line them up. Get your bolt. Right, slide it through. Okay, now when you get it on here, you're going to want to finger tighten this to start. And the reason you're going to finger tighten this is to make sure you don't cross thread it. You cross thread this thing, man, that's a huge pain in the butt. All right, so we're going to We'll tighten this down until we need that block. We'll just tighten this, all right? I, I tighten it by hand. There's definitely no cross threading. Do I need a torque wrench for this? The answer I have found is no. Tighten it by hand, tighten it with the wrench, right? I worked for two different lawn care companies. We never use torque wrenches when putting blades back on after sharpening them. So you're good to go like this, all right? Let's get it nice and secure. All right, that's snug, that's on there. All right, now that the blade's back on, it's secure, it's nice and snug, we're gonna drop the mower down, because there's still another step we don't wanna forget. We gotta plug our spark plug back in. If you don't do this, you're gonna be pulling all day, going nowhere. 
I could make a ton of bad jokes about that, but I won't. All right, let's plug it back in here. You kind of, you'll feel it click into place. Once that's all done, you're good to go. You should be able to fire up your mower, start cutting some clean lines through here. If this video helped, make sure you hit that like button, turn on notifications if you're subscribed. And if you haven't, what are you doing? Subscribe right now, all right? Take care of each other, be kind, peace.